Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Damo B. Hope y'all doing well, staying hydrated on this lovely Thursday afternoon. Y'all know what day it is. It is podcast day. D&D. Spilling. Zitty. <laughs> yeah, let me get in the uh, voice call with Danny. This is I'm not paying attention, you know? There we go. Um, yeah, so... Whoop-de-woo. Whoops. I'm together now. We're together now. It's fine. Hi, Ghost. Oh. How are you? <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> because nobody was talking. And so I was like, okay, I just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, I was just like chilling to my little um, anime cute cat girl. Uh, cafe kind of music, you know? Oh, yeah, I put on, uh, I actually put on the Afro Lo Fi. It's this coffee and beats, neo soul, and jazz. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at me turning you on to stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. There you go, you know. It's a nice little mood. Gotta look mm-hmm. at my chat from my phone at the moment, you know, because I don't have my laptop or at least mm-hmm. you know from but i don't want to switch over switch scenes or whatever yeah okay. yep, makes sense. what up though domo what up though ghost how's it going 
Let me see. I need to fix these. I need to do. Yeah, this. I broke my nail. It looks busted. You know, I saw that the other day. I was like, I'm no, I. Head. Yeah, don't even. I was like cleaning, and it just like popped off on the floor. Oh no, not like and that. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's how it's gonna go down. That's messed up. Like really? And then you know, I'm supposed to have a nail appointment today but i got my nail appointment days confused so my sister had my car today because she had to take my mom's car to go get serviced and obviously you know we like so i don't have a car at that point so that i can get my nails done today so now i'm still stuck with this fucking baby ass finger um, but i was also thinking of, like not doing like long nails doing like some like give my actual nail like you know rest of reba while my real nails by a little bit oh. be free to the world but i have baby hands if i don't have long nails like i look like i have child hands so i don't like wearing it too much like my regular nails i stick on like a, a, a like a press one <laughs> where i let people see my normal nails unless i'm playing the guitar and yeah. That's understandable. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, are you gonna join the thing? Oh shit. Is there a thing? Yeah, the thing. thing oh, the thing. hold on. Let's see. Is there actually a yep. I yep. want that beautiful face to to bless my stream as well. Oh, are you sure? Positive. Okay, at least say so. Mm -hmm. I'm playing only up to good times. Oh lord, did you play the first one, Ghost? Lord, that game just looks stressful. You know, I, I actually need to play the first one at some point because my friend bought it for me, and you know, when somebody buys you a game, it's like you gotta play it at least once. I haven't even played it once. So, what game? Uh, only up. Oh, yeah. Okay, I so. don't see you. No, 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 I got you. I was just waiting. Okay. Do, 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 do. Not you giving me the knuckle hamburger. Yeah, you deserved it. Wow. So you're like, are you gonna join? But you don't even have your camera on yet, so... How are you gonna say? Like, are you gonna join? But you have ready yet. I was getting it together, okay? I was getting it together. Okay, whatever you say, sir. You know, that right in behind... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that light behind you is so bright. It always makes me feel like it's daylight <laughs> in your house. And I'm like, wow, how the, where the fuck do you live? Where it's daylight all the time. Fucking Hawaii? What, what the fuck? What is, why is it always light there? And then I'd be realizing, oh no, it's like your actual like light in your house is not sunlight. Yeah. You need to t change those sunlight bulbs out because they're just like really fucking me. Like, like trying to take those out. <laughs> I'm that just saying. That's right, huh? <laughs> yeah, I really was like, oh, it's daylight. Well, how the fuck is it daylight? It's fucking 8 p.m. Here is the darkest shit. I'm playing only up to good times. I almost made it two times and I fell all the way. Oh no! Back down, damn. Yeah, because I've never comes, played that game. There comes a certain point where it's like you didn't made it so far up, and it's like, oh shit! Because I know there's this dragon part up top. That oh like, what? There's a dragon that flies around. Yeah. That's... <laughs> oh look, the 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 sun lights off. Look, it's gone. <laughs> now it actually looks like what time it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, no, that game is is very it looks very stressful, honestly. But you know, like I said, eventually I'm gonna play it because yeah, Adri Adri yep. actually bought me the game, so I'm like, okay, well I gotta uh, play it for that some point because she bought it for yeah. me. Yeah, you know that um, what was it? You know what game also looks really stressful? Which one? 
Oh, I fucking loved that game. That game was so. That game was so fun. Did you uh, actually play it, or you just watched it? Oh uh, yeah, you didn't really see me. That okay? So that was one of my early playthrough days. Like that was that was like oh. one of the games I fully played through. It's on my uh, it's on my um, YouTube actually. So like I think I split it into maybe like four or five videos. What's up, Afro? Oh, okay. How's it going, yo yo? Hope you're doing well, staying hydrated. Yeah, um, Stray was a fun game though. I, I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, you know, I played it all the way through. It was a great story. That's Even, fun. you know, kind of teared up at the end. I actually never seen it till the end. Um, yeah, it's, it's I only out. saw like the first hour of the gameplay. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then, it, and, the story yeah, is pretty interesting, honestly. Well, the beginning, I was like, damn, this is sad. Yeah. So, it, I was like, oh. And essentially, you know, like the, the robots are like the humans of the generation pretty much you know because they don't consider themselves robots they consider themselves just you know human just normal people so mm -hmm. when y'all join when y'all gonna join me on outlast trials i need a little trio or squad um definitely well i don't know we can, uh, we can, we can yeah. schedule we can schedule a, a day like, let's yeah let's schedule a day yeah. uh we definitely well i mean we could do a trio but i'll prefer a squad yeah i mean it would be cool to have four people on it it, it definitely would be, it, it would be <laughs> the way that last, last the way the last two times went i would prefer squad. <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it was it was stressful. It was a little stressful, you know. Yeah, between one of us always dying and the other one getting chased around the map. Man, cause I just, cause I, rough. you know, cause I was really just like, dude, what are we, what are we looking for? Like, what, are, what are we getting? Like, but every time I would try to look for, for whatever, I would run into somebody. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like the magnet. I was yeah. attracting all enemies. Yeah, so then I was left to do all like the tasks we had to do. It was a great man. time. It was a, it was a real great time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was it was it was fun, but I was like, I can't do this like this no more. Yeah, I think um, like you said, if we had a if we had a full squad, I think it'd be way better for sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Agreed. And you know. Um, Sure, we'll get one up. I'm sure we could find one other person. Yeah. Hmm? I don't know who else has the game, but yeah. Ask around. I know D has the game, but I don't know what he's up to. Chibacha. Um. All right. Well. <sighs> What are you making that face for? Because it, uh... I don't know, it kind of went down the wrong way, so it kind of hurt a little bit. Oh no. Yeah, it's fine now. I'm okay now. Well, anyways. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah, anyways. But, um, yes, welcome everybody to another episode of D&D Spilling the Tea. How's it going? How's it going? But yeah, um, so, you know, I thought, you know, a good topic to talk about would be some current stuff that has actually been going on, or, or current and ongoing things that have been going on. So, like, um, it's been a lot of updates to uh, Twitch's policies as far as, like, the type of content you can uh do on the platform um so if y'all remember when twitch had and let me go to i was gonna say did i delete it um back on december 13th to take you back take you back to the year 2023 it's like the day after my on. birthday the day after her birthday danny's birthday 
getting flash bombed right now telling you this information as we speak. <laughs> so, <A drama. laughs> let me turn on the music just a little bit. Oop. Oh, I turn all the way down. Can you just... Can I get a little... Hello? Alright. Yeah, okay. Oh, why does... Okay. Oh, I'm getting there. Sorry. I tried to do the little automatic... <laughs> Bro, I cannot wait till I get my new mouse. It is so hard to move, like, your mouse this just, like, mouse. slightly. Holy shit. Mouse. It's huh? so what cute. It's this is my mouse. Yeah, I uh, I have a new mouse, but well, it's apparently I think I have a new mouse. I don't know. Either way, I'm getting a new mouse soon. Um uh, okay. Yeah, well, anyways, that's that's eh, eh. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Taking you back to Twitch's policy. So on December 13th of 2023, Twitch updated their policies. Uh, they updated their approach to sexual content and content classification labels. Excuse me. Uh, all, the, all the carbonation is coming up. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna, you know, I won't read the full context of it all, but just like to kind of just narrow it down to the nitty gritty. What this update did was open up a new uh, category that Twitch classified as artistic nudity. And so um, y'all can y'all can read the policy that Pretty much, like I said, to sum it up, though, after this policy came out, let's just say uh, people took a little bit of an advantage of what the policy entailed. Um, so the category consisted of <laughs> a lot of uh, genitals and, and such, just full, full bear on, you know, VTuber stuff, you know furry stuff you know like yeah it's let's just say you know that didn't that didn't go too well for, for a lot of folks and i'll just say my opinion on it was okay you can't stop people from finding out about this information but you can at least not make it so easily accessible as far as like blur blur the thumbnails <laughs> like blur so it, like any kind of content like this i would say like just it's like you, you're putting a warning on it you know like i don't, I don't know i i think i think it's it's easy to take accountability for something and just to be able to like to be able to take take care of something before you know it does become a problem it's like okay you're gonna allow this type of stuff but at least not let's not make it the main focus like cool you're making it you're making something that other people on the side of twitch can like do but ugh, it's that shit, that that update let's just say that you know the update was really a lot and so then they had another update on the 15th, two days later, <laughs> on the sexual content policy update. And <clears throat> I'll just read, I'll read, this one's a short one, so I'll actually just read this one. Um, we updated the policies. Primary goal in making these updates was to make our guidelines easier to understand and enforce. Part of this update included changes to how we treat fictionalized nudity. For years, through user voice and in conversations, we heard from artists that our content policies were limiting. In making this update, we were trying to be responsive to these requests and allow the thriving artist community on Twitch to utilize the human form in their art. <clears throat> First, we want to make clear that some streamers in response to this update created content that was in violation of our new policy. We've worked quickly to remove that content and issue channel enforcements. 
However, there also was a great deal of new content that was allowed under the updated policy. Much of the content created has been met with community concern. These are concerns we share. Upon reflection, we have decided that we went too far with this change. Digital depictions of nudity present a unique challenge. AI can be used to create realistic images and it can be hard to distinguish between digital art and photography. So effective today, we are rolling back the artistic nudity changes. Moving forward, depictions of real or fiction nudity, fictional nudity won't be allowed on Twitch regardless of the medium. This restriction does not apply to mature rated games. You can find emote specific standards for nudity and sexual content in the emote guidelines. We aren't making other changes to the updated sexual content policy. We are in the process of pushing out updates to our community guidelines that reflects this change. It will take a few days for both this blog and for the new community guidelines to be translated. While I wish we would have predicted this outcome, part of our job is to make adjustments that serve the community. I apologize for the confusion that this update has caused. So, I mean, it at least if anything, they 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 recognize, you know, that kind of how far people are willing to take, and they kind of, you know, at least they took accountability and and made and said something and updated their stuff. But like, so you, but you, Danny, you didn't even, we didn't even really know too much about this. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. The only time that I heard it was from you. I didn't see nobody's punani. I didn't say no dick and balls, nothing. So yeah, like I was like, you're like, oh yeah, people are nude and they they're coochies and and, and the- cutters are out. And I was like, where? Like it just, I didn't see none of that. So I'm like, I mean, okay, I don't. Know if you're lying. I just I it pulls up on my for for main page for you page whatever they call it on twitter yeah. i ain't seen none of that shit so i was like oh really people signed that cootie cats on the on the on the twitch i didn't know that I just... uh... shit. <laughs> if you want to put y'all pum nan nan the you know the pum pum on 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 the internet to get out pum. put that pum pum gal put that pum pum upon the camera gal i don't yeah and and see when the first update happened uh, like people were seeing this on your what was it your suggested pages mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like a that, also makes me wonder, that also makes me wonder like what do y'all be watching for them to suggest that to you so that was never in my suggestions so what would you what y'all be watching i don't even honestly i don't even think it's that i think it's just you know they throw variety. It's like, it's like they kind of put some, they seeing something new, something's catching on, you know, they're going to feature it. You go see it on your suggested. Yeah, I think that's kind of how. Uh, maybe I don't pay attention to my suggested. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm nothing like that ever on my suggested. Yeah. Cause so I'm like, uh, okay. Normally when I'm looking at streams, it's on my phone. And for the most part, you know, all the streamers that I have, they pop up first. So rarely do I go on Twitch and actually kind of look at my suggested because for the most part, I normally just set up stream and all of that. But, but yeah, yeah. I mean, every now and then you see it. Cause I remember, remember when I told you about the lady who had her boobs were painted with paint and like it was being shown on, <laughs> on Twitch. It was a suggested and like, everybody saw this person like because people were talking about it on on your socials and stuff and like yeah i've seen they were like yeah i've seen this person too like it's like yeah everybody's literally seen this person well Um, and but like i said you would have to pay attention to your suggested every now and then yeah i don't i don't really i don't really and i mean like why are we paying our titties but okay you know what it's whatever it's fine I have nothing to do with me. Uh, I guess the way that I feel about it is like one, they do have that thing now that you can put that like, your content's mature, mm-hmm. but that also requires like people to admit that their content is mature. The whole issue with this is that 
it's kind of like self-reporting right like a lot of what twitch is is like you have to self-report they don't have people kind of just always sitting there looking at every single thing it's not really possible with the amount of people that they have streaming at one time mm -hmm. so you have to kind of like self-navigate or self what's what i don't want to say self-expose but you know what i'm talking about know how to, you kind of have to self-regulate you have to be like, okay, yeah, my my content's mature, so let me put up this mature rating, blah, 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 blah. If people don't give a fuck, then they don't give a fuck, and they're just always going to take advantage of it, because that's just the type of people that they are. True. So, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, Twitch fucked up. I mean, like, yeah, the, their prophecy probably was too vague, I would say, from what I, from what, from what you're saying, like, that, or them saying, oh, yeah, you know, artistic community, that's, that's not in-depth enough to... <laughs> to really uh stop people from like yeah. yeah exactly that's why that wasn't they were not they yeah. definitely were not in depth enough i with feel like policy. i feel like it was like a bait to see how far yeah. people would take it you know and mm -hmm. i feel like that's what they did and and they they responded pretty receptively which is pretty you know which is like pretty. yeah because i would have been <laughs> like if, see, cause if it was me making that policy i've been like a there cannot be no sexual conduct or sexual acts in the depiction of nudity um b mm -hmm. they have to be like artistically like, like artistic as in um like i don't know digitally autistic or, or artistic uh mm -hmm. or like um 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 or like basically drawings bitch drawings like art yeah no real life punans okay no real like, life pum -pum. Yeah. okay you just <laughs> like these are sketches <laughs> these are paintings right. etc that kind of thing like you know like like basically like classical art that is what we're talking about we're talking about artist like artistic yeah. nudity is yeah. like classical art okay me, think like the michelangelo's just... okay bitch that's what we mean. Let me just quickly look back at it if it said any classified or any specifics. Let me see. In the original policy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, conditions. Um, show your feedback. Frequently asked. Um, just a fiction. Content with focus on fictionalized drawing. Okay, so a frequently asked questions with the updates to the content are artistic uh -huh. pictures of nudity allowed? <clears throat> content with the focus on fictionalized, drawn, animated, or sculpted sexual body parts, regardless of gender, such as doing nude figure drawing, are allowed with the sexual themes label. However, fictionalized sexual acts or masturbation remain prohibited. So they did say that the f sexual that in, but is that in their actual policy or was that in their questions because that sounds like that you said was, it, that was yeah the that, that was in the well it was in the questions and it, it, it probably was in the policy as well i would assume especially if they're going to say it in the frequently asked questions you know like mm -hmm. let me see. i'm pretty i'm pretty sure they did so okay. and i think people weren't oh well actually <laughs> Yeah, people did actually break that policy. <laughs> because people would definitely do fictionalized sexual acts. <laughs> That's crazy. It, yeah. Well, so the, issue, the issue sounds like they they didn't put what the policy was particularly in the forefront of yeah, it. Probably. Like they buried it inside the policy, right? Oh, like we have this new nudity policy and talk about all these things. And then at the end, it kind of talks about like how you're violating them. I'm going to be real honest. When there's terms and conditions, people don't read that whole shit. They read like the first like couple paragraphs and the last paragraph. And that's it. <laughs> You anything that's important, and I and as somebody who you know works um, for corporate and often talks to a lot of people who are busy, um, people if it's if it's not within the first five sentences, people are skimming it. They're not fucking reading for comprehension. They're not reading um, to see you know um, what what what's happening, what's going on. You have to capture people's attention with all the facts and all of the important information within the first five sentences. It is what it is. That's how it is. So, 
not addressing it in some type of way. Like, they could have said something like, this policy only pertains to drawn and depicted um, nudity. It does not, like, like they needed to be more explicit in the beginning mm -hmm. of where the policy, this policy only applies to art drawn or depicted by artists. <laughs> Boom. Mm -hmm. Right? Then go to this section. Go here. Article A, 5, B, whatever, to see all the details pertaining to this policy. Something like that. Something very, like, like I said, explicit. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so, um... Let me see. What was the last... So, like I said, then they updated... Yeah, so then they updated that that policy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and actually, the uh, yeah, the author is the actual CEO of Twitch that actually did the updated uh, policy on the fifteenth of December. So that was the one from the mm -hmm. original. So that was a different person from the original, and then. <laughs> Then on January 3rd, okay, because, so, yeah. before, before, yeah, before I get into the last update that they had, <clears throat> you know, then people were taking advantage of, of a new meta where people were showing, like, it, it was like they were naked, they were showing half of their body, mm -hmm. and, or, like, it looked like you just see cleavage, it doesn't look like they have clothes on. People were taking advantage of that meta. Um, there was <laughs> the sensor bars that people were doing. Um, mm -hmm. So depicting like they weren't wearing clothes. Like, I mean, some people, you know, probably were wearing clothes. But the fact that it looked like the fact that, you know, they probably were naked. Um, that, yeah. you know, that took a... There was just so many things that people were just taking but advantage of. Honestly, if you read the policy right... <laughs> <laughs> they weren't following policy, so they can't even say, well, I was following. You weren't. You didn't read the policy. Uh, yeah, so all of those betas started taking place, you know, after that whole... I mean, and this was going on when the policy on December 13th took place already. It's just the added with the with the naked drawings, depictions, the fictionalized, fictionalized sexual acts, you know, all of that stuff started. Um, on December 13th, but yeah, that stuff had been going on before, you know, this policy. Gotcha. So, okay. yeah, so the update on January 3rd of this year, 2024, update to our attire policy. And okay. I'll, I'll read this one too, because this one's not that long either. Seems like okay. it's long, but it's not that long. Yeah. Um, so... We are updating the attire portion of our community guidelines to prohibit implied nudity while streaming on Twitch. This update is in response to a recent meta on Twitch in which streamers are use black sensor bars or other items to block their bodies or clothing or position the camera frame such that the viewer is led to believe that the streamer is fully or partially nude. <clears throat> while most streamers have labeled this content appropriately with the sexual themes label, and are wearing clothing behind the object or outside the camera frame for many users, the thumbnails of this content can be disruptive to the experience on Twitch. While content labeled with the sexual themes label isn't displayed on the homepage, this content is displayed within the category browse directories and we recognize that many users frequent these pages to find content on Twitch. This update goes into effect today for those areas of the body where coverage is acquired, the coverage must be fully opaque, sheer or partially see-through clothing does not constitute coverage. Note also that streamers must appropriately categorize their content. For example, streamers, you know, hot pool, pools, hot tubs, yeah. Our goal with this and other recent changes is to make Twitch a safe and welcoming place for all the communities that call it home improve the clarity of our policies and ensure that people have the experience they expect when spending time on Twitch. 
We are currently working on the ability to blur thumbnails for content labeled using the sexual themes label, plus user settings that will allow a user to filter the Twitch viewing experience based upon their preferences for content labeled with content classification labels. This new language and blur. Okay. <clears throat> Last part, the updated attire policy now reads, we don't permit streamers to be fully or partially nude, including exposing genitals or buttocks, nor do we permit, permit streamers to imply or suggest that they are fully or partially nude, including but not limited to covering breasts or genitals with objects or sensor bars. We do not permit the visible outline of genitals, even when covered. Broadcasting nude or partially nude minors is always prohibited regardless of context. For those who present as a as women, we ask that you cover your nipples and do not expose underbust. Cleavage is unrestricted as long as these coverage requirements are met. It is clear that the streamer is wearing clothing. For all streamers, you must cover the area extending from your hips to the bottom of your pelvis and buttocks. End policy. So yeah, they definitely got a lot more specific, <laughs> which like I said. If, if you would have done this from the get go, you know, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but it's, it's the fact that it has to happen so much and that people have to talk about it so often and so consistently that, you know, finally you, you, you have to take action about it. But it's like, yeah, dude, if you would have just done this from the beginning, you know, it, it, <laughs> Everything would have been fine. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so a lot of it is honestly just all the all the same stuff. But I mean it's good that they're saying that they're working on blurring thumbnails, because I mean like I said, that's that's a good idea regardless of just, just because of the topic itself. And you know, I know Twitch Twitch is expanding, you know, Twitch, Twitch used to be like the main focus was like gaming and, you know, then, you know, just chatting kind of got it more into it and then IRL stuff. And, you know, now we have so many different categories, different stuff going on and Twitch is, is pretty, it's actually insane, but you know, so, I mean, you can't stop Well, I mean, yes, you can with policies, but you're going to see all type of, of different content anywhere you go. I mean. And hey, if if it's your niche, if it's working for you and you're not, you know, breaking no policies or anything, go for it, do you. But you know, they're I'm glad that they're at least taking accountability with with a lot of it oh, no. as quick as it happened. And well, do it. uh oh. What you done did. You good? Mm. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't hear you. Oh. But I don't get. What the hell? Oh my god. Why Arab? can't she hear me? Nope. Nope. Uh, why can't you hear me? <laughs> uh, Lenny? What the fuck did you do? What the fuck did you do? Yeah, it's not me, because I can hear myself on stream. My headphones don't work in? Maybe I turned my headphones on last. Yeah, my headphones were off or something. Your headphones were off? Oh. Everything okay. good? Yeah. Um <laughs> Did you have your headphones okay. off? Um no. So apparently when I did like this, I like hit my um my spinning wheel of 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 um sound and it turned my sound all the way down. Okay. And I was like, "What?" <clears throat> yeah. Welcome back. But, um, Thanks, yeah. Thanks, homie G. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, uh, but um, it's like I said, pretty much what I was saying. I was good to see them at least take accountability and, and recognize, you know, what's going on on the platform and listening to people and just kind of taking some precautions, if anything, you know, and just because obviously people are gonna say, we're, you know, we're all we're all gonna th we all think this because it's true. It's like it's the internet. You can't stop people from, you know finding stuff kids especially like if anything you know that's up to parents monitoring and stuff watching what your kids watch what are you doing are you trying to break up the ice oh <laughs> but uh yeah it, so it's just good to see that kind of twitch is taking precautions for like the younger audience as far as like you know because i mean twitch started off as like gaming streaming oh yeah and I don't, I don't know if you heard when i said that you know twitch started off mainly like a gaming and then it expanded to all these other categories yeah so i mean it's good that they're thinking about the younger gen the younger audience on twitch that you know it, it may not be you know it may not be as big as it used to be like during quarantine and all that you know it's probably a lot more older people watching but there probably is still a bunch of kids that still do watch streams so it's like it's kind of good it's good that they're taking those precautions for sure um and then let me pull up let me pull up uh hold on. pull up I'm pull out. up on up he said oh. he on up pull oh. up on up Oh my god. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I was reading about it, but um I was trying to see Let me see, hold on. I thought it about Emma. Why is Taylor Swift in my head? I have no idea. It's very I'm weird gonna of you. jump. I know. Nobody garbage lovers. Uh, okay, there is a 38 second clip. I guess we. Oh wait, this is a long message. Next entry is Um. Oh Switch. Okay. So. The other part, yeah. So we talked about the policies and everything, and that's that's yeah. that's pretty much the update as far as where Twitch with the policies and updates are now. But you know, they're doing stuff. They're actually listening, taking accountability, and and uh, you know, trying to take precautions and stuff. So that's cool. Um, second, my camera focus. The other part is um, Twitch recently actually had to lay off some employees as well. Oh. Um. No, actually, this report from here. I'll actually show it on stream. Let me see. Did they say why they had to lay off? Um, I could play a video too, but here, because it's like a minute and twenty of the CEO talking about it. But this post, uh, I put it up on stream. But this post, um, from Jake. Lucky, he posts a lot of info on, on what's going on as far as like content creation, social media, a bunch of stuff. But uh, Twi he said Twitch are set to lay off 35% of their staff or 500 employees. Yeah, or 500 is a large amount. Yeah, or 500 employees as soon as tomorrow, which was yesterday. And see this video Dan says Twitch is still an exceptional business much like other tech giants who still go through layoffs just need to work on running twitch more frequently okay um danny do you want me to play this through discord so you can see it better maybe like do um, it through live on discord because i'm gonna i'm gonna just play yeah. this it's like a minute and 29 video 29 seconds yeah that'll be helpful okay. i got you okay hold on okay here. there you go so let me know when, yeah, yeah yeah let me know when you're ready I'll mute the music too now. Oh, cancel. I want to do this. I want, hey. No, I want to go into the live game. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. What the fuck? Why was it like?
like that. Why was it like this? Okay. You ready? Yeah, we're listening. Okay. Ew, why do you look like Is that? Is Twitch going to be branching off of Amazon? I saw they're also doing layoffs. Will oh, shit. that affect partnership at all? No, we aren't going to be branching off of Amazon. Why is the um, like they're doing that? layoffs Jesus. again. And I know many of you don't, you know, um, understand this because you oh don't live in the tech space. Um, you know, I was at Google from 2005 to 2014. Um, I will tell you that um, uh, the tech space, I think, has this idea that because an organization is bigger, that will necessarily drive growth to the service. And sometimes that's true, but sometimes that's not true. Bigger isn't always better. Um, uh, in fact, leaner sometimes is better. Uh, uh, and I think we need to run a lean operation. And again, this isn't unique to Twitch, I think. Um, Twitch and Amazon, I think Amazon is starting to realize how they can more efficiently and effectively run the company. Um, their business is very strong, much like Google's business is very strong. Google did a layoff today. They have a really strong business, um, uh, much like Amazon, much like Facebook, much like Apple, much like many of these companies, Uber. But they're saying we need to run the company differently. It's not that they aren't good businesses. They're actually exceptionally good businesses. And the same is true for Twitch. I think we're a solid business. We're just deciding that we need to run it a little more frugally. Um, okay. Well, I'll have to discuss the comments. And this one's 38 seconds. We really need to run the company based upon where we're at today. Um, uh, we've said, we've implied this before um, where we say we need to run it sustainably, but you know, I can be, I'll be blunt. We aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch. Um, and a big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring that um, we don't lose money. And that's a big part of my job because that's gonna be what makes sure we can be here for a long term. Um, we've been very clear about the importance of our efforts to try and continue to provide more resources to streamers. We really need to run the company based upon where we're at today. Um, I was one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I haven't looked into it too much, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much at least the, what's uh, being said at the moment. Stop showing there because I think that is making that a little slow. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, and it makes me think like, shoot, like, how's that gonna affect anybody that's here, you know, on Twitch? You know, like, will it affect us at some point? You know, it probably won't, but who knows? You know, it's just something uh yeah, I mean, it does depend. Um, they're pretty much saying, like... Uh, <laughs> what he said is kind of funny, because he's saying that they're a strong business. However, he mentioned that they weren't making any profit, that they're not revenable. So right. it's, it, it's, it's kind of like... So they're just... So what? from what it sounds like, it sounds like they're just meeting their financial liabilities which i mean you know for a non-profit that's that's not a that's not a big deal that's like that's how a non-profit works but they're for profit so the whole point is that they have revenues that they probably want to make they probably have investors that they have to pay out um dividends to um which you know that that also comes from like revenue so um the <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say like they're terrible, but for what it sounds like, it doesn't sound like they're in a very good position financially. Yeah, uh, it really, it really doesn't, honestly. Um, Although he's trying to sound like you know, a strong company, and there's all these strong companies that lay people off and da da whoop de whoop de whoop 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 de whoop okay. and all that. All right, but you'll never hear Amazon saying, oh, we're not profitable. We are not making any revenue. <laughs> I'm just saying, so. Yikes. Yeah.
maybe that's harsh of me, but you know. Hey, it's what it is. Just telling it how it is. Exactly. Well, that's it. Just telling how it is. I mean, it's honestly, it, it's it's uh, it's pretty crazy to think about. You know, it is. It's, especially because you know, it. it <laughs> I okay and see I don't know how it was because I didn't personally you know stream at this time either but it makes me think of how Mixer what happened with Mixer you know people talked about Mixer and how great it was and how people like were you know being discovered and just everything was going great for them and I don't know where that they went bankrupt, they sold, whatever, and Mixer was done. <laughs> so it's like, it just makes you think in the back of your head, like, wow, could this be like something like that? Situation. You know? I, but I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know too much detail into, into the whole Mixer incident would happen in those times, but it definitely makes you think, you know? Because <laughs> you, you didn't know about that, did you? Mixer? Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck Mixer is. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it was like a streaming service that people use. That was... I don't know if it was before Twitch. Maybe it was at the same time as Twitch. You know, it was a competitor to mm -hmm. to them. But um, if if you know Ninja, dude from, you know, plays Fortnite a lot, blue hair. You know, he got famous playing Fortnite. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you don't know. But... <laughs> If you saw a picture of him, maybe you you know. But he's a uh, he got famous, I guess, from Mixer, and you know he talked. I guess that was like a time where he, yeah, when he started kind of blowing up and getting noticed and everything. But yeah, so it just makes you think, like in the back of your head, wow, is, could this be something like that happening? Could, like, could you imagine? Is this the downfall of Twitch? Like, well, to be fair, it, it usually. A company has to be in the red for a, a, a pretty decent amount of time before they close. Mm -hmm. So, from what it sounds like, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that they're technically in the red right now. It sounds like they're breaking even. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, as long as they're not in the red, they're actually, I mean, they could stay open for a while longer. But it's when they are actively in the red that it would be like, oops, oopsie doopsies. Right. Oopsie poopsies. Oopsie doopsie, scoopsie poopsies. Yep, all of that kind of shit. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely. Definitely something to think about. And, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll be something that I'll, uh, I'll keep updated on too. And then, you know, next week if we have, you know, if I have anything, I'll definitely talk about it a little bit, maybe before we get to our main topic or whatever next week will be. Awesome. Sounds mm -hmm. great. Man, fantabulous. Yeah, there was an update on the Cop City stuff, but we both forgot. Like, I um, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I, I kind of, I kind of, like, watched the video a little bit uh -huh. um, that I sent you about it, um, but honestly, to God... My brain doesn't want to connect the dots to give you guys the real spiel, so um, we're just not gonna do. Where did where was that. the video? Where did you send me the video? I sent it to, to you, the video like a couple of days. Like if you scroll up, it's like a couple of days. I don't know. Is it on Discord or what? No, it's in your text messages. Oh okay. It's like uh, I don't know, like. No, I got you. I'll see it. All right. It's like the second video I sent you in the, the, the whatever. No, the second video from the bottom. Um, hey, Bubble! I am good. I'm a little tired. Um, I got a little bit of headache. But other than that, I'm really good. How are you? What's going on? How's your evening going? You oh. well? I don't know where you're where you're at. So either evening, day. Man, you said a couple days ago. I'm, I'm scrolling back. Uh, I'm at Monday going back. It's, you... No, you're at your too far. It's Friday. Wonder if I got the video. Uh oh, oh no. Well, then I'll be before Monday, babe. You're talking about last week. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Yes. Friday is tomorrow <laughs> for this week. <laughs> that is tough. No. <laughs> 
Oh, like a week ago. That's why yeah, okay, let me go to Friday. <laughs> we don't talk that much though. Like look, like it's not that much. We don't talk that much during tech, so it's not that like you have to scroll too many. Feeling good, busy with school. Oh, right. how's school what going? Does Israel versus Palestine oh, that ain't it. It's not the Israel yeah. versus Palestine one. I'll find it, it later. It. I'll find it later. It's part of that it, it, it's part of that video. It's like okay. not it's a classic. Anyway, oh, if you okay. read your, yeah, if you read your message like right believe the OMG, we have an update. It's like round and game back. Anyway, um, <laughs> pretty good. What are you in high school? Are you in college? Welcome I in wobble. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. My my um noggin, she goes on hiatus quite a, a lot. So. Your what? My noggin. Oh, you not? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> she goes on hiatus quite a lot, so you know, um, if people have been here for college, okay, okay. What's your major? <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in college. Same. Wait, huh? I graduated in 2018. Bitch, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Um, you, I graduated you... in 2018 from college. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a mess up. Bitch, you're old. Because what the fuck? Um, video editing seemed fun as a kid, and it is. Ooh. Oh, it's really super cool. That's yeah. way more interesting than my fucking major. <laughs> <laughs> My major was business, so the concentration in management. Ooh, this gives you the spine chill thinking about it, doesn't it? <laughs> the, the good thing about just ooh, the good thing about it is though it is like very um, what I'm looking for versatile. Like you can you can do whatever you want to with it. Was it fun? <laughs> Was it fun though? Um, I not really. I think the marketing <laughs> stuff, the marketing stuff was fun. The marketing stuff for me was fun. Um, the management stuff was like, this is kind of a lot. Um, I remember part of my management was I had to um, part of my capstone for my management class was that. I had to join a random club on campus and write about the management style of like the leaders and what the organizational culture was and that shit was long and annoying what, um, group, what group did you join i <laughs> that's a good ass question i think i joined it was either, uh, what's that? What? It was either Diversity Council or, um, what is that one where they, where they walk for cancer? Girl. Uh, 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 uh the pink uh, ribbon thing over there. Uh, I forgot. I mean, look at my LinkedIn because I literally have it on my LinkedIn that I could volunteer. Um, look at me. I'm so old. I have to look at my LinkedIn to remember what the fuck I did. Um, Relay for Life. There we go. Relay for Life. Relay for Life. So, um, yeah, I remember being. Um, and boredom feel you video editing is fun but there's a lot of frustration and boredom i feel like things like are in, in my head artistic things that you do are really interesting and fun when you're passionate about the project like when i'm writing like lyrics or i'm writing stuff or drawing stuff and i'm really like oh this is really what i want to do like i'm really passionate about it it's fun right but when it's like a school assignment or i'm doing it for somebody and i don't particularly love the project or i'm like this project's kind of boring right it's not that fun 
It's like, okay, I guess I'll do this because I need to. I need money. You know? But I don't know if I would like... It's like, uh, uh, uh. You know, <laughs> like, I, like I'm doing it, but like I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold. You know. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Just done. <laughs> well, um, well, I think we uh pretty much all we have on the topic of the Twitch policies and layoffs. You know, the updated stuff. So you know. Like I said, well, definitely, if there's any updates, I'll keep y'all updated on this um, for sure next week on the next episode. Um, and I, I honestly, I'll probably upload this one. I'll post this one probably on YouTube like tomorrow because I feel like this is a good one. I should go as far as like something, something that people are probably thinking about talking about recently. You know, it affects the streaming world. Yeah, you but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I know. Oh. When is the next episode? I'll be there. The next episode is next Thursday. So what day is that? What is the what is the eighteenth? There you go. The eighteenth of January. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we have our podcast every week on Thursday. We try to do seven thirty p.m. CST. Um, sometimes we're, you know, if we're late, you know, it's in between like 30 minutes, but we try to stick to that time frame now. But, um, yeah, we've been, we've been doing the podcast every Thursday. You know, we've only taken a couple weeks off, but been consistent. We talk about a bunch of different stuff. So wobble when you come next week, you know, I couldn't tell you what we're talking about, but you know, we're going to be talking about something because we always figured out like, you know, the, the day before or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> definitely um and if you don't already you could um make sure if you're not following to follow and then if you are following to turn on your notifications so that you'll get a notification when we go live on thursday so you're not like oh shit i forgot this thursday that's me that's a whole that's a me thing like i'll be like oh i'm gonna do whatever whatever tomorrow and then it's the next day after. I'm like, damn, yesterday was Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah, damn. Girl, I was supposed to do that shit. I was supposed to do X, Y, and Z. Did I do it? No, because I fucking forgot. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining the club. The Baddie Girl Club. Did I not put my sound? No, the sound alert's on here. The I'm going here. to... I'm updating our command because I'm going to put our email, you know, because... You know, we do have an email for our podcast. You guys have like any questions or anything about the topics or maybe a topic that you would even like to, you know, talk about. You know, we would love to hear about it. So like I said, we talk about a Definitely. lot of different stuff. So I'm going to just yep. put that here. I think our I think mm, I'm trying to think of what my favorite conversation has been so far. I think I really enjoyed the whole Diddy conspiracy. That was great. I really loved that conversation. Hold on. And I'm, also I'm gonna be right back because I need to go to the bathroom. BRB. Oh it hit him. It hit him real fast, huh? <laughs> he was here. Boom, he's gone. Um and I really liked the um we did a, a, a thing that was like, who would you choose to be your partner? Um, like villains and um, hero edition. And that was really fun too. How long have you been doing this? So um, this podcast that we have together, um, Dom and I, we started doing this actually in about like September, October. 2023 um but i have done a podcast before the first podcast that i had um which is actually similar to this in title let's play off of this um or this played off of my original podcast name um i started that in 2020 20 2020 2021 um yeah it had to be like 2020 because it was right around covid time because everybody was home there wasn't much going on and there was a lot of like social justice stuff that was happening and um i'm a very opinionated person 
and so I really love having these like conversations deep conversations and so I use my podcast as a way to like have these conversations with people about certain things um and so yeah I I had it in 2020 gets lots of attention or no just curious um no I think you know I personally do these types of things because I, I, I love like hanging out and talking um, and getting to know people that stop in and like the people that I already have that follow. Um, I also sometimes get people like from my real life that'll follow up on my podcast and ask me questions and stuff like that. Um, so I really do it for the interaction and of course if one day it gets a lot more traction and we have a lot more people hanging out I'd love that um, but right now I think uh, what well, we're focusing more on being consistent getting a nice quality of content and really just talking to the people who show up and chat I that's one of the biggest reasons why we do this live instead of pre-recorded because mm -hmm. honestly pre-recorded when you have to upload it onto things like spotify and stuff sounds a lot better um but you know i just like the genuine interactions of having it live yeah so i've done both i've done pre-recorded and live so. Mm -hmm. yeah so we uh you know i talked about wanting to do a podcast for a while and you know danny's actually my actual partner so it kind of worked out we talked about it you know and we decided to come up with this D, &D spelling the t because my name's damo her name is starts with a d as well danny so it's like it kind of <laughs> it's like a play on it so and yeah, we came up with it and it's gonna be said, so cheesy too i used to have like my old podcast which is like i said it's it's like similar uh, in name to the one we have now mm -hmm. i made a whole fucking theme song and everything <laughs> so embarrassing wait what did you say that your favorite podcast was so far because mine was actually the we were talking about the protagonist it's, and stuff that's what i was talking about but i said the protagonist and antagonist is one of them yeah. like that whole like who would you like have be a partner and the other one was the diddy conspiracy so i really like those two. Oh uh, yeah 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 we have we and we see we have a lot of you know serious topics but we also have a lot of you know goofy topics and man we got to bring your series back soon babe Good. Oh, with the Reddit stuff? Yes. See, that's another Dude, thing, too. She has Reddit stories. Reddit. Yeah. I've been racking up Reddit stories. What is it? Um, what is it? I, am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah, am I the asshole? Those are, like, great. Uh, I love I'm addicted to them. Like, every time I go on TikTok, literally, my For You page is just like, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? <laughs> so, I literally save all of them. It's so bad. I need to, like, be admitted to, like, AAA's of TikTok. Like, what is going on, sister? Get your shit together. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh um... You should do some true crime if you want. Just a suggestion. Oh, that yeah. would be cool. That would be yeah. cool. Um, I think I have I think... a whole bunch of stuff that yeah. would be um, I think what I we're think... kinda working on yeah. is like doing little uh what is it? kind of little segments and i guess we're just kind of yeah yeah so we're gonna figure it out because i feel like we're gonna have little topics on uh, you know all kind of like little different topics you know it's cool to, to do it live because then it helps you know you guys interact with us and definitely uh, yeah and eventually like we did, uh what did we do we would do it for for uh not christmas we didn't do something for christmas it was christmas mm -hmm. conspiracy. conspiracy but for halloween so. mm -hmm. We did real um, or fake, real or fake, and I yeah. love that because I love kind of like folklore and um all that all that kind of jazz and mm -hmm. mythology and stuff. So it was really fun for me because um, a lot of it had to do with like folklore and mythology and yeah, you know was... spirituality. And I was like, oh, this is so much fun. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely, I'm so down for because I actually watch a lot of true crime. Um, yeah talk about and look so i watch a lot of youtube pure crime stuff so <laughs> so i mean I, there's definitely some stories that we could talk about you know so yeah maybe that maybe that'll be you know either i'm sure like we'll do like some kind of segment or we'll do i don't know maybe we'll do like a special month with that you know with that type of topic again maybe you know oh yeah that'd be yeah. cool mm -hmm. i i don't have like a are there any specific 
criminals or uh, things that you're interested or you think would be cool to talk about? Because I don't. Uh, not, not at the moment. Maybe if I do a little bit of research, you know, if something if something kind of catches my eye, then I'll be able to. Uh, I'll definitely let you know. Exactly. Sounds good. Oh. Well, I'm getting tired and I'm going to log off. See y'all in a week. All right. Well, All right, well thank you so much for tuning Have in. Have a good night. I appreciate you. Thanks for the follow. And we'll see you next Thursday. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Good night. Um.